सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुली बिफोर वी बिगिन आई वु लाइक टू मेक एन अपील टू यू फॉर दो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू टेक द प्रिंस यू ट्यूब मेंबरशिप विच ओनली कॉस्ट रुपीज वन फिफ्टी नाइन पर मंथ click on the join button to enjoy exclusive member benefits including loyalty badges priority responses and member only videos we are now also extending newsletters to our youtube members for this i request all youtube members to write to us with their full name and email address at members@printprint.in and we will get back well why gujarat elections are significant for the bjp in today's point of politics we discuss this and much more gujarat will go to polls in two phases on 1st and 5th december and the votes will be counted on 8th december along with that of himachal pradesh the election commission of india announced thursday the bharati janata party which has won six consecutive assembly polls in gujarat has already fired up the campaign trail with prime minister narendra modi holding a series of public meetings in the state the party is also keen to offset The public anger arising from the Morbi Bridge tragedy last week that killed over 135 people. Union Home Minister Amit Shah has also set a 150 seat target for the BJP in the Gujarat Assembly elections. The Congress too wants to take an early decision on candidates and may announce names on 4th November when the party's central election committee meets in the national capital. The Congress put up a strong fight in the last assembly polls. and wishes to cement its appeal via yatras in the canvassing this term the himachal pradesh elections that will take place on 12th of november and gujarat polls will be the first under the leadership of the congress party's new president malikarjun kharge the aam aadmi party has also thrown its weight around by already announcing 108 candidates in the 182 seat house aap national convener and delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal has also been aggressively campaigning in the state he has held rallies and town halls he has also made a host of pre poll promises including free electricity and better education and healthcare among others Asaduddin Owaisi led all india majlis e ittehadul muslimin aimim has so far released a list of five candidates from different seats In the 2017 assembly polls the BJP had won 99 seats and the Congress 77 the Congress got 41% share of votes to the BJP's 49% the numbers today however stand at 111 for the BJP and 62 for the main opposition so what are the key factors in the elections and what is BJP strategy number 1 emergence of AAP and Congress's 2017 performance Well the BJP is hoping to gain from the Aam Aadmi Party's push in Gujarat's Saurashtra region especially in the seats that the ruling party lost to the Congress by narrow margins in 2017 however BJP chief strategist Amit Shah is learned to have told party leaders during his recent visit to Saurashtra that AAP should not be allowed to gain too much ground and its vote share should be minimized as a fallout of the patidar agitation BJP's tally in 2017 reduced to 23 of 54 seats in the Patel dominated Saurashtra Kutch region where it had won 35 seats in the 2012 assembly polls the party is now relying on the Aam Aadmi Party uh, for the advantage it needs to win triangular contest in the region learning from rebellion in Himachal Pradesh is the number 2 point the BJP in Gujarat has come up with a novel way to nip any rebellion that could upset its calculation in the Gujarat assembly elections in the bud taking the help of those considered close to potential rebels to help persuade them after the aam aadmi party declared a list of candidates for a number of seats for the polls that have been now announced the bjp has asked several of its members of parliament and senior party leaders to recommend names of probable candidates party sources told the print a senior party leader said that apart from a list of probable candidates that have already been zeroed in they also asked for another list of people who are considered close to such probables 
and who could help persuade them in case they don't manage to get the tickets. A party functionary told the print that the BJP was concerned that in a scenario that those who are denied tickets may end up creating a dent in the party's overall performance. Number three, AAP a new factor and a triangular contest. With the AAP making its achievements in the health and education sectors in Delhi's USP in Pole Mount, Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh, the BJP is countering with a campaign about the alleged liquor scam and governance failures in the national capital. As AAP makes a concerted attempt to emerge as the principal challenger of the BJP in the two states, the latter's Delhi unit has become a sort of nodal centre for the party units in Gujarat and Himachal to source material to highlight the Kejriwal government's alleged failures. For instance, the Delhi BJP has prepared videos supporting its claim that the AAP government in the capital has not fulfilled its promises. These clips are being circulated by the BJP's Gujarat unit. Number four, Gujarat model and using foreign visits in the state, with the BJP hoping to add another five years to its 27-year innings in the pole-bound state, it was difficult to go a week without encountering a conference conclave or inauguration featuring PM Modi as a star attraction and harbinger of development, investments and international glory. For instance, the BJP used the arrival of United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who began his three-day visit recently. This was the UN chief's first trip to India since he began his second term in office in January this year and a significant chunk of his itinerary was in Gujarat. Number five, booth and poll management. It is not just PM Modi, but Gujarat BJP is also banking on state president C.R. Patil's 82 lakh army to micromanage state polls, an extension of BJP state chief Patil's Panna Pramukh model that secured him Lok Sabha wins. New model entails five-person page committees, which will be in charge of one electoral page. Patil, a three-time Lok Sabha MP from Navsari, has already proven his mettle by passing two electoral tests ever since he was appointed Gujarat BJP chief in July 2020. In November that year, the party won all eight seats on which by polls were held, and then in 2021, it swept the local body polls. Winning the Gujarat Assembly polls with a respectable mandate would, however, would be the biggest challenge to Patil's organizational skills. But it will be interesting to see how this battle will play out. This is Neelam Pandey reporting for the press.